Welcome back to another day in the life with Illegal Mist. First things first, we gotta check out, see how the day is gonna be in the Soul Merchant. No Seer today, unfortunately. And uh, I actually have all of these champions, but I don't use any of them, so they'll sit there for now. I have three more Mortal Soul Stones I can pull, but I'll save them for now. We are looking good on the fusion. We haven't pulled our shards yet. We're sitting just under 200 ancients, so hopefully we get a guaranteed ancient this week or something. And the Path of Clover event, I know a bunch of people have talked about this already. For me personally, uh, I see it as an opportunity to have fun, uh, and I'm going for the avatar. Like, I just, I don't know, Shamrock avatar is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going for that for sure. And then I think I want to grab these just because if I get those, then I'm guaranteed to get Seer next time she comes around. I don't have a whole lot of points right now, but I think if I just slow grind it and then see how I'm looking at the end, uh, I can always burst out some points. I could go for one of the Lego tomes or, you know, the Eternal Soul Essence, but to be honest, like, why... I don't, I don't need to push my account to like get that stuff. I don't really want to use gems on it and everything. So I'm just going to have fun. I want the avatar. Like I said to my clan mates, you know, like the the um, eternal soul stone is for like 10 seconds. And then you get a five star rare that you, or a five star epic that you're not going to use like more than likely. Um, or you can get an avatar that you can rock on your account for the rest of the time you play. So We'll go with the uh, the fun one. As far as the rest of the tournaments and events, I kind of forgot this was going on, so I'm gonna just bust out Classic Arena like normal. For Ice Golem, I am considering just doing Stage 20 normal, so that way I can use my duo that I have. And the team's 100%. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do stage 10. And the team is very slow. So uh, this was kind of a team I threw together for an Oella showcase. But yeah, so I think I'll probably just do the stage 20. I'll get to farm up food with it, which will be nice for the Shamrock thing and all that. So let's check out how Clan Boss was for us. We got an Ancient, which is nice. And I'm probably glitching like every once in a while through here just because my sweatshirt is green and I have a green screen. But it is what it is. So two Ancients and an Epic book so far. A Lego book, we love to see that. And another Ancient, so I'll keep this one, crit rate and attack on a six star piece. Pretty good. Um, yeah, let me run this key really quick. All right, this key is done and dusted, so easy enough. And I figure you guys probably don't like to watch your own clan boss, so I'll pause on mine so that way you don't have to watch it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, sorry about the lack of uploads the past couple days. So I, my wife doesn't work on Fridays and we ended up doing a bunch of stuff yesterday. So we weren't around. And then the day before I had done my day in the life video and I forgot to post it. Like I literally had it all done and everything. So sorry about that. I don't know kind of what happened, but oh well, uh, I feel like. Let me know, like, I know some people like having daily videos. I like, personally, I like watching, like, JGiggs' daily video and stuff like that, where, you know, we kind of just talk to each other and get the back and forth and whatever. But uh, I know some people, it can kind of clog up your feed. So uh, let me know if you like them every day or if you just want them a couple days a week or, like, you know, what your kind of preference is on that. And I can kind of adjust from there. Um, I like doing them every day just because I'm doing this stuff anyway and try not to bore you guys with what we're doing. So, um, but yeah. So arena should be pretty easy. Just got over a thousand 
arena medals too, which is nice. And then the forge pass, I don't know if I showed this already, but we are two away. I have one more that I got to get here, so I'll be one away by the end of today. And then I think we get one more reset or two more even. Um, so I'll get those and then I'll get the 75 bolster, which it was close, but I really didn't have to change anything I was doing up until like maybe a week ago. And all I did was just like check it and it's like, oh, use force champions in the arena. So I was like, OK, I'll use force like <laughs> not a big deal. And then just a couple of these are weeklies. We got only one day in and then ugh, the monthly. I love the monthly like sacred and void. Uh, and doom tower, we're looking good. We've been staying on track with it. We got one, two, three, four more. So typically I like bust out doom tower as fast as possible, but I kind of missed a couple days here and there haven't done any of the secret rooms for normal yet but i can do all the normal ones i used to be able to do all the hard ones as well but i just don't like some of my champions i've kind of re-geared and i'm not fussed about getting it all done because i'm not going to use any of the champions really so oh well artifact enhancement i did as well which ended up being pretty easy Kind of see like i can pro i'll probably end up getting to this lego book but i guess three weeks is a long time you never really know what you're like how much more they're gonna offer but hopefully i get that lego book and then the avatar is kind of like where i would really care to get to the void's pretty close i guess but like i said i'm not that whole event i'm not trying to push for or anything like that so it is what it is See if our tag items have reset. We did get our ancient reset, which is nice. We got two hours until these ones. And then for clan quests, five artifacts, five weapons from the forge, which will be easy. Get five epics should be easy as well. And then I should probably grab another one. 10 gauntlets in the forge I could do. I could probably do this one as well. Upgrade three rare or epic champions to rank five. I'll grab that just because I have a whole bunch of them I can get. And then let's grab this the rest of the kill stroke as well. I don't know if I want to grab all of these because they're kind of expensive, but they're also really nice. We're just going to grab like a little bit of everything. See how it all comes out. see oh this is a good sacred order um ring not gonna roll it up yet but soon i've decided that cleansing like i'm just getting rid of it i i have never once been like oh this is cleansing like i'm gonna use it over a regular piece and then for the artifacts sell this one my so rsl helper if you guys don't know if i didn't say this or whatever it's not uh taking into account pieces that are mythical gear so if you have mythical gear it could sell it which i think happened with a couple of my pieces so i kind of like changed my rules where it's keeping pieces that i normally wouldn't but at least i'm not selling pieces that i want so this one would be sweet Nope. Okay, never mind. I would love a uh, quad roll on a mythical speed. This is a solid piece too. I know I shouldn't roll this stuff up because we have one more artifact enhancement. But I don't have like any lethal gear. This is the first time I've been able to farm it for real. This one has crit damage. We'll sell that, sell that, and that. Unfortunately, like every pair of boots I've gotten have been like flat stats. So we got a decent bit of gear we can roll up. I forgot I re-geared my Reho into regen. 
but I don't think the build's too bad, actually. And I might be able to use her in Ice Golem if I kind of, like, adjust my teams. I did see, actually, someone posted a comment about Ice Golem 10. We're going to do it for science. We need a slot that's open. We're going to build a team with Sissy on Cardiel. So we'll do my tanky Cardiel because he doesn't have War Master and I don't want him to uh, trigger the Revenge proc or whatever it is. And then we'll do Seer, Lydia, Kaimar. Where is Lydia? There she is. So we'll go in. I think if we do this, it'll be... Um, it'll be good enough. And then have him open with this. I might even have him prioritize it, to be honest. Yeah, I'll leave the ally attack on, but I don't know if it's actually a good idea. We're just going to rip it like that, see how it goes. And then see her. I definitely want to make sure she doesn't use Karma Burn on the boss. And I don't want Lydia using that just because the animations take forever. But I think that should be good. Oh, I want to make sure she doesn't use any of these in case she gets a turn. All right, let's try this. See how the team does. It'll be interesting because Cardiel gives you the healing on his A1, and then when Sissia goes, he always takes a turn, so he'll always heal the team. But I just think her triple hit is going to do a lot of damage, and then my Sissia isn't built for like survival she's built for a nightmare hydra or whatever but she's not really built for a whole lot of survival yeah see <laughs> so she's already down unless cardiel can solo it but it's gonna take forever but interestingly enough i have a second sissia that i don't have built so i almost am like maybe i could build her Man, the boss does so much damage, though, if you don't have uh, decrease attack on him. So, yeah, I don't think that team will work. Even if I did have Sissy, like... So, again, if you guys haven't seen my Cardiel build... I mean, the dude's not a slouch. Like, 58k health, 4.2k defense, 253 speed, 544 resistance. So, like... You know, and he's got these masteries. So, definitely can take a hit. And you could see the Ice Golem was just tanking him. And then Sissia is built 3.3k defense, 46k HP. Pretty quick. Um, good accuracy. So I don't think... I, I like the idea because Sissia is able to do the uh, burn explosion. But I think... I don't think those two are tanky enough to do anything. That being said, if you had a crazy crazy seer maybe you could get away with cardiel being like your no i don't think so i was gonna say you could maybe try having cardiel with all his buffs and then seer strips him off but i still like you'd have to have like six star crushing rend and just have her be a beast without decreased defense or weaken on the enemy unless she went in with her weaken first i don't know but yeah that's kind of splitting hairs i don't think the team would work but so yeah, don't try uh, Cardiel and Sissia on the same team for Ice Golem, for a speed team at least. They're good overall. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll end it there. I'm going to do my 3v3 and get my three or five 3v3s done and then do my uh, faction wars and we'll go from there. But yeah, I appreciate everyone coming out and watching. Sorry I haven't posted in a little bit. I'm going to try and get to the Pytheon and Ramantu builds and showcases. So far, like sneak peek though, Pytheon, of course, is super, super great. I love him. So far, definitely, I think uh, 
you know, I had some comments talking about Pytheon not being like Duchess, and I can see it now, where after using him, like, the veil and stuff that Duchess gives you is just like so top tier because then you build this champion or you build the Duchess super tanky and stuff and no one else gets hit. But with Pytheon, like anyone else can get hit. So uh, it's just a little bit weird. But yeah, he's got he's got a super solid build. 565 uh, resistance is nice. Pretty tanky, pretty fast. And then for Romantu, I, I have to rebuild him. To be honest, he's way too slow. I did, I tried out the stone skin build, but he's got 122 speed, 630 accuracy. And like the accuracy isn't really that high, but it's the highest I could get with my stone skin. And then he's so slow that my Baron is faster. So my Baron that I built with no speed, 148 speed. So my Baron's faster than him. So it, he doesn't work with a Baron like it, yeah, so I kind of screwed up the build. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm going to rebuild him and see how it goes. I'm contemplating even trying him with um, just perception sets and seeing how he does in like a go first team. But we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, because with Kaimar going and then him going, it could be pretty solid or reverse. So that way Kaimar is able to put the sleep on. But yeah, we'll end it there. Sorry for the rant at the end, but I appreciate everyone watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.